farmers have a really strong role in this because of a few things. Farmers are actually, like, like they make the food that we create, right? Um, so when I want to show my family that I love them, I'm an acts of service kind of person. So I want to feed them, right? I feed people, I cook for them. Um, I want to know that when I buy some product from um, the supermarket that it was made with love. I want to know that no children were harmed in the production of that. Um, I don't want to buy lint chocolate because they're going to like phase out child slavery in another 10 years or something. I'm, I'm not going to buy those products. Why would I, I buy something that was a treat for more chi my child that harmed another child? And it's the same when I'm thinking about the food I want to put on the table. Why would I buy something that harmed or destroyed the environment around me as an act of love to the people I love? And so farmers are fundamental to the way that I express love to the people I care about. And we often forget about that. We might think about them perhaps providing a carrot or you know, a potato or um, a pork chop or something. And we, we compartmentalize the world into these small pieces. But whether I'm buying a carrot or I'm buying a potato or I'm buying a pork chop, I want to know that that lived the best possible life it did before it gave its life for me. I want to know that the world around it was enhanced by the fact that that carrot was in the ground, not just that it did the least possible harm. And so farmers are absolutely fundamental, one, to the, the expression of most cultures in the world, right? Most cultures in the world do express love through food. And our farmers are also fundamental because they're the ones who interact with large pieces of the planet, right? I have this tiny little, you know, whatever it is, quarter of an acre section. Um, but farmers, they might have three, 4,000 acres. Their impact on that land is way more than mine will ever be.